Hi everybody. Here I have taken a truss with applied load 100 kilo newton and this truss it is supported by a hinge and a roller. We can see the reactions as 300 kilo newton and 200 kilo newton. So we have to find the zero force member. So let's move in the next slide to see how to find this zero force members. So I am taking the truss at the right hand side to do work on the left. Here I am writing two case, case number one and case number two. Basically these two case we have to apply on this truss to find the zero force members. So to do this, I am taking first this joint M. So at this joint, we can see two members, MK and ML. If we read this case one, what it says, if no external load or support reaction acts at a joints, that consists of two bars. So it means these joints. The force in the both bar must be zero. So according to this case one, if there is no external load, no support reaction, then these two member will carry no force. So we can write that. And we are marking these two members with this zero. I mean looks that it is a zero force member. Here also I have written mk equal to zero, ml equal to zero. So let's follow the next one, L. Already we know these two carries no force. So in case of L, surely according to case one, I can tell these two also will carry no force. So we can write that LK and LJ no force and I am marking each with zero force. Now let's move at this joint I. Let's take it in enlarged form. So here these two bar, I mean these IK and IH are collinear, but this is not collinear. So what it says in the case two, if no external load or support reactions acts at a joint composed of three bars. So it is this joint composed of three bars and these two bars, it is collinear as well there is no external load or no support reactions so surely this third one which is not collinear will be zero so ij we can write at zero so i have written as ij equal to zero so let's mark it so i marked it now let's move to the g G, it looks like that it will follow the case one because no external load, no support reaction and it consists of two bars. So these two will be zero, G, A, and G, E. So let's write that and mark it.
Now let's move at B. Here at joint B, this 300 kilonewton force and this BD are collinear. So this third one, BA, it is not collinear, so it will be zero as well. For the whole truss, if we look at it, there is no horizontal force. So, BA must be 0. So, we marked it. Now, let's move for point, I mean joint A. At joint A, if we take the horizontal component of AD, horizontal component of AB, I mean AD, it will be actually throw AB. And horizontal component, there is no horizontal load on the truss. So the horizontal component of this AD will also be zero. So as the component is zero, so main member AD will also be zero because its component is zero, so AD will be zero. That's why I wrote here AD equal to zero and let's mark it. Now let's move to point, I mean joint C. C, it will follow case 2. What is that? This AC or CA or CE are collinear and this third one, it is not collinear, case 2. So CD will be 0. Now we move to join D. So let's mark it first CD also. Now if you look at this join D, you can see this is no force. This one also no force. And this BD and DEF these two are collinear. So according to case 2, our this third one, which is not collinear, will carry also no force. So we can put also 0. And here I have written at join D also DE equal to 0. So we are done. To find all the zero force member. So in the next slide we will see how to check it with the structural analysis software. Here in this software, I brought the same truss exactly which was in our previous slide. There is two support here. Here, 100 kilo newton load will be concentrated at these joints. So, let's show that this is the force. It is 100 kilonewtons. And here there are two reactions 300 and minus 200. We need to find here the zero force members. Already I did analysis 
I can bring those results force component here in parameters putting text applying this so I got these results look at here 0 0 0 all 0 force member here zero force member, this is zero force, this is zero, this is zero, this is zero, zero and zero. Exactly what we got in our previous slides. I can put some color on it. Say like this. You see all zero force members here, these two, here, this one, this one, and this. So through software also we got the same results. And that's all for this trust.